Good morning, it's me. I'm back after two weeks. Oh, well, just one week away, but it's been two weeks since I saw you. Good morning. I'm Stephanie Flath. Um, I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And I come to you live every Wednesday morning at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time uh, on Facebook. It's a Facebook Live. That's how where I'm live. So you can find me every week on my business page at um, facebook.com slash dazzledbystamping. And um, any other time, you can find me on my website. Um, hi, Sherry, um, at dazzledbystamping.com. So you can find classes and um, ideas and um, a link to shop, of course. And... Um, all sorts of things there. Hi, Jamie. Um, so I'm glad to be back. I was off last week. Um, Todd and I took an amazing trip. Hi, Marsha. Thank you. And thanks for sharing, too. Um, took an amazing trip to Maine. It was it was supposed to happen last year. It was a replacement incentive trip last year um, because everybody's trip got canceled. And then... Um, and then we had weather problems with their flight that cut off two days out of a six day trip and um, we just canceled the trip. So we tried again this year and, it was, uh, and we extended it. So in case there were any problems with flights, we wouldn't be feel like we were missing so much or whatever. So um, anyway, it, it was amazing. So I'm gonna refresh my screen a second here. Um, I did, if you missed it, I did blog about it yesterday. Am I on it? Yeah. Um, so you can go to my website and check out. Oh, I, I skipped so many things, I feel like. Um, I Hi, Carrie. Um, I, there are things that I didn't tell you or show you, pictures that I, like, I just, I... I'm done. I need to go to bed <laughs> because I would, I did it all in a day and, um, um, oh, I know, Marsha. Yeah, you'll have to watch it or read it, Jamie. Um, yes, every time I talk about me and it makes me hungry, I miss my lobster. I was so spoiled there and it was funny because I totally could relate. So everybody was getting back from the actual incentive trip um, and posting all kinds of things. <laughs> and they're like, I have to make my own supper and make my own coffee and make my own bed. What's up with this? <laughs> of course, I'm not very good about making my bed and I don't drink coffee, but still having to cook and, you know, not being, not having lobster on the menu. That's, it's, it's pretty difficult. So, um, so we learned, um, that, well, we learned at least over a year ago that Maine was known for blueberries. We didn't know that when we started talking about the trip a year ago or over a year ago. Um, but they're much tinier. Like if you've seen my blueberries, like in my fruit salad or whatever, they're big. Like we we pick and they're big. But Maine's are much smaller. They're really sweet, but they're much smaller. But we're definitely blueberry people. So we knew we had to get blueberries and lobster, of course. And um, and we found out fairly recently that whoopie pies were a thing. So if those were on the menu, we were getting them. <laughs> oh man, it was so much fun. Um, so somebody asked us yesterday um, what our favorite part of the trip was and I said, the food. <laughs> I just, I loved it so much. It was so good. Um, of course, we loved the coast. We loved um, the water, the nature, everything. Hi, Nancy. Thanks for joining me. Um, it's amazing seeing God's creation in, in a different way than you're used to, you know. Um, it's It was really strange, too, because I don't know where you all live. or Like, if you're in Michigan, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Um, going to Maine, to the, to the beaches... Like it's all rocky and like the rock is beautiful. Um, and, you know, hearing the waves crash on the rocks and whatever that that's just amazing. One of my I do have like two or, th or three or four videos, at least three, I think, um, on my post yesterday. And one of them was just um, Todd was off taking pictures and I just wanted 
um, video of, like, there were seagulls flying around. Hi, Terry. And seagulls flying around and just the waves crashing, and it's just amazing. But, like, in Michigan, beaches are sand, and we love our beaches. And But there, um, like, it was just mostly rock. It was just sort of different and crazy and whatever. So, excuse me. Um, so if you have specific questions, you'll have to tell me, um, I, I can't, I, I can't remember. Oh, okay. So there's one thing that I'm going to have to share. Um, I forgot and then was just, just like, uh, I'm not staying up even longer. Um, trying to get this done. There's one picture that I wanted to share. So, um, Todd has always loved lilacs. Um, I'm more of a hyacinth person. They're a little bit different little bit different smell, but Todd has always loved lilacs. Um, his grandma had them um, on her farm or whatever, or had bushes on her farm. Well, it was weird. I don't think we saw it in Portland, but in Bar Harbor area and on the way up to Bar Harbor, maybe we just weren't in rural enough areas in Portland, um, but we noticed um, lilac bushes and they were the deep purple, like uh, some of them were like from normal lilacs to a deep purple, like rich razzleberry purple or blackberry, maybe not quite blackberry bliss purple, but they were gorgeous. Uh, and Todd already looked up. We can we can buy a bush and it does. I said maybe that it wasn't something that was for our region of growth, but we're in the region, so we might just end up with getting a, li a lilac bush. They were just gorgeous, so I forgot to share a picture of that. Okay, so, hi Marlene. Um, I do have my randomizer filled. If you're just watching me for the first time, um, I every time that, I, um, that I'm live, I make a project or two, usually two. Today's just one, because I wasn't sure how Gabby I would be, and also, um, this one might take me a little bit longer because there's coloring, but I've been dying to show you this project for since I came up with it. it, it it's adorable. Um, but anyway, so I make projects and I give them away. So um, to be entered into my drawing, you have to share this video and then come back and tell me that you shared it because um, I can't always see by notifications who does it or whatever. So I have a list to come back to and then I put it in what I call my randomizer so um so I do have that filled I have two projects from last time and I'm going to start I oh I found post-it notes I was gonna say I have no clue where my post-it notes are I did not make sure I had them Marsha Hill you're my first winner and I still owe you stuff my um congratulations by the way um one of my goals before I left for my trip was to get them out, and that didn't happen. Uh, another goal was to get my swap done before I left, and that didn't happen. So I got it far enough so that I knew everything that I had to bring, and I actually brought it to Maine and worked on it. And then I, <laughs> and then I forgot one of the most important stamps. So I ended up having Tyler send it to me because I also forgot a... Um, I, I have asthma and I have a maintenance inhaler that I use twice a day. And, um, I knew that I didn't have enough doses in my one and then forgot to grab the second one. So I ended up having to have Tyler do it two day air to me to get it to Bar Harbor. I found, I realized it when I was in Portland. So I had him send it to Bar Harbor and it was just a whole thing. So I had him send the stamp the stamp set too that I was missing the stamp for. It was an important stamp. Okay. I need to pick another name. Awfully Gabby today. Okay. Um, Jamie Rose, you're my second winner. Congratulations. Okay. Anyway, I'm hoping to get those cards out soon, but it still didn't even happen once I got home and on this weekend. It was another goal for the weekend, but it didn't make it. Okay, so I'm done with the randomizer. And I'm back. Okay. So, um, 
Yes, congratulations, ladies. Okay, so I am going to use, this is a stamp set actually that I used during my clubs. Um, let's see, we're still in May. So I used it in my clubs in May. Um, I'm planning to use in my clubs in June. Can you believe it's June? <laughs> uh, thanks. I will definitely, you know, I don't usually stop myself from gabbing very much, <laughs> but you have to ask me if you have specific questions. <clears throat> um, um, and thank you for the welcome. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, okay. So June, I'm also going to use it in at my club for one of the one of the projects. Um, but I mean my um, hostess clubs, my stampers clubs, that we meet every other month for um, my stampers clubs. But I also, if you remember correctly, I have um, a dazzling card club that I do every month. Um, when you join that um, for six months in a row. Um, then I give you a swag bag of fun things. Um, but anyway, so this month that's going to be happening next week, we're using the Daisy um, stamp set or bundle. Next month in June, I, I can't, um, I can't get myself from it. I just, I adore this set. So this is the set. I'm using it today. Um, bird's eye view. I'm not a bird person, but these glasses get me. They're amazing. Um, so bird's eye view is what I'm using today. Um, we're for sure going to use it in our club, um, clubs next month or yeah, next month as in, what is it? Tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow's Thursday the first. Um, and then also in my dazzling card club. So I'm going to be <laughs> just it's so cute. I love it. All right. Not a bird person, but I love it. Um, so I'm going to, it is so cute. It, it was my, I think it was my top. So I don't know if you guys realize this and if, if you're demonstrators, you do. Um, so for full catalogs, it's different for mini catalogs. When it's a mini catalog, we have a month before. Um, <laughs> you're gonna need the set, Marsha. <laughs> I can't believe you missed the classes. That was, it, it totally got me. Um, so the month before for a mini catalog, we can order everything from it. Um, I mean, not the hostess things, I don't think. I think that's only in the annual catalog for the priority period. But anyway, for a month before, we can pre-order everything in the catalog. There's limits, like um, they want you to be able to prep for classes, but they don't want you to to buy all the stock. So like for consumables, you can order two of them. Um, anyway, but the, the full catalog, there's always a specific list that we can order from um, for the month before. And then when it goes live for you guys, then we can order everything just like you guys can. So this stamp set was, it was my first like, okay, I have to order this. This is, this is going on my list. So I'm excited to show you. Um, so I'm going to put you down. Got to do my magic. I say that because I have to hit it. There's a magic wand thing. If you didn't notice, don't know that. Um, I need to unbackwards you and upside down you. And then I'll put you down. Okay. We're just going to, we're just going to go with this. I think this should be good. Okay. Um, Okay, so here are my pieces here that I'm going to be using. Oh, so I also got my, where did they go? I, was like, I think I showed you this before, but um, I got my swatch books right before we left. So I have, if you want to see designer paper at all, um, I have swatch books so you can just go through and see all the designs. So this is the Glorious Gingham um, designer paper. So, colors are Blueberry Bushel, Lemon Lime Twist, Pretty Peacock, Berry Burst, and Pecan Pie. Can you, I didn't have any Pecan Pie, but they had a few places that had Pecan Pie, but um, usually if I was getting pie, I was getting blueberry, so. <laughs> okay, so I'm using um, a piece of this here, 
And I'm just gonna put my, you know what? I don't even know where all my stuff is. Just a sec. I gotta see. Oh, I brought it with me. Okay. I haven't stamped. We did some card prep yesterday, but I haven't stamped. And so I don't necessarily know where all my things are. So I'm going to, um, I'm gonna get these ready, put it on my card. And so I can just put that aside. So I have a couple, it was a good thing. I did not, um, I did not, I just realized I should have done my stamping, started my stamping first. I'm gonna do that in a second. I didn't think about that I might not have enough adhesive. I brought two things of adhesive when I was gonna work on my swaps on my trip. Um, I pretty much got it done in a night, but then didn't have one of the stamps. Fortunately, I had just enough. I ran through one and almost ran through a second one. Okay. I need to do my stamping so that it can dry a little bit. So I'm using Memento. This is a photopolymer stamp. And first I'm using, I need to test it. First I'm using this tiny little um, bird in here. <laughs> He's so cute. And then I need this piece and I'm gonna do two things. Okay, so I want this first. So I don't know how closely you looked at this, um, but there's a stack of books in here. So this is perfect for teachers. And then I'm gonna stand them right on the books. Put them over just a little bit because of my design. Isn't he cute? I love that. So I forgot the books for my swap. I don't know how I, well, I didn't have it mounted for when we were using it in. <laughs> this is the best part. I giggle every time I do this. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's just the best. Too cute. I just love it so much. Anyway, I didn't use the books in during club last month, and so I didn't have it mounted and then completely forgot it. Okay, so I'm setting this aside for, for the time being. I'll let you look at them, but I'm setting them aside. Um, um, and I'll put sort of my base together here a second while those dry. Um, so it is photopolymer, so that means you need to use Memento. Um, ink with it and you do need to dry to let it dry before I I just had I can't handle those glasses they just crack me up um, so you need to let it dry before you start coloring it so that's why I'm doing this part okay so I'm going to also so this is blueberry bushel um, I'm gonna put this down um, again, just stamping to, um, or, or adhering to let my stamps dry a second. Okay, for this one, I'm going to put, so I'm using another stamp set. There are no words in the bird's, bird's eye view is the name of this stamp set, if I didn't mention it already. There are no words in here, but there's an amazing stamp set that I used, um, that I bought. It's specifically for, I bought it specifically because of one stamp in here, but I'm going to, um, I'm going to use it and then I'll show it to you. Okay, so I have thinking of you today, oops, thinking of you today that I put on, I already, this is one of the dies from Timeless Arrangements. Um... I agree. Blueberry bushel is very similar. I, I don't think it's quite as deep, um, but you are correct. Um, so thinking of you today, I put on, so this is the die, um, the dies that have the little tiny X in each of the sides. Um, I showed it last week too, or two weeks ago also. Um, and I just love it. So I need to do that. Okay. So I'm going to 
I'm going to show you the other stamp. That This is the reason that I fell in love with the stamp set. So I have Thinking of You, obviously. And then I'm going to put on here... So this is for the inside. I don't always stop stamp for the inside, but I had to for the swap. So and I love this stamp, so I did it. Okay, so I have thinking of you today on the front, and the day after that, and the day after that, and the day after that, and so on. I love this stamp. So now that I showed you that, I'm gonna show you. So here is the actual stamp set that it comes from. Hope you know is what it's called. So there's <clears throat> Um, um, sort of inside and outside for this stamp set. So you can tell by the fonts, which are supposed to be um, going together. So these two go together. Um, these two go together. This comfort one goes together. And I'm not sure this, these three all probably go, go together. Um, so anyway, I, I just loved this on the day after that, the day after that. So it was a must have for me. So these two stamps were things that I had to get. All right. <clears throat> so this is dried enough, so I'm going to start coloring. So that also might mean that I stop, <clears throat> stop chatting a little bit. <laughs> the one way to get me to stop gabbing is make me color. <laughs> I'm making myself color because I just love this thing. Okay, so I haven't done this in, oops, those are, I brought two of one kind. Okay, so this is crumb cake that I'm going with. So I'm trying to, trying to, oh, I did, I did, did I do light? I feel like these are small enough that I did not do, no, I'm going to do it. So we're going to do light um, crumb cake over the whole thing. Um, and then I'm going to highlight with dark crumb cake. So this was um, both my swap and um, this was a project that um, Rachel and Nadine and I made when we went down to see Rachel. Um, cardboard Rachel that I talked to you about. Um, we went to see her and I brought this for um, for my sample that we were going to do. And I told them they couldn't share it. Um, they had to keep it a secret because it was for my swap and because I wanted to show you guys. So even though I'm showing this now, um, oops, um, I, we are going to make this next month from my Dazzling Card Club. I just love this design so much. I might change up the, so I'm softening the edges right now, just getting that where the dark was. Um, um, thank you. Softening of the edges where I had the dark. So we will be making this um, a Dazzling Card Club next month. We will not be making it at our Stampers Club, though. Okay, so getting the light down. And then I want some dark. So this is just um, sorry, I'm coloring again. Um, so this is just light and dark crumb cake is all I'm doing right now. Okay. So this bird's done. I'm not doing anything more to this one. Except it wouldn't be a bad idea to put down some... I didn't do this on my swap. Put down some dirt that it's standing on. So that's my inside. Alright. Now this one... I just didn't want it to be an all brown card or an all brown bird. And so this is light azure afternoon and I'm just sort of doing the wings here. Just, I'm not blending it at all. I'm just adding a little bit of color to the wings. Okay, 
<clears throat> now I'm going to start from the bottom. So I'm going to do this one. I'm definitely, I know that I just want to do dark and then blend with the light. This is pecan pie. And so I'm going to color here and here. And I'm going to do the bottom here with dark. So this is the dark that I'm using. And then I'm going to blend it a little bit with the light. So I'm going to do just a very light and don't even have to get the whole thing necessarily very light to get the book. So here's the first book. That's all that I'm blending. So there's white there. Okay. Next is blueberry bushel. So this time I'm going to do, <clears throat> I'm going to do a line here, line here, line up at the top this time. I'm just trying to make these, um, these books look sort of aged with my blending. I want some more dark on here. Soften a little bit. Second book. Oops, I forgot. I need the light. I'm just doing the top one there. Okay, and then I'm using wild wheat. It's funny. Um, one of my friends said that it looks like um, it looks like baby poop. <laughs> Um, but I've been using this color actually quite a bit. So it's sort of funny. So I'm putting dark just in a different spot here. So Wild Wheat is one of the new in colors. Um, the others, the Blueberry Bushel and um, Pecan Pie, those are core colors. So if you don't know the difference between core and in color, um, core colors stay around until Stampin' Up! has another great big color refresh. In colors stay around for two years and every, um, how am I, somehow you're, somehow your comment is hidden, Nancy, I don't know how. Oh, I know. It's probably because using the word poop. Um, um, what was I going to say? Oh, okay. So in colors, they go around, they stay for two years. And then, um, so one year, five colors retires or comes and in place of five other colors. And then next year, the oldest set of five colors, they go. So anyway, that is... Um, that's the difference between in colors and core colors. Okay, so I'm done coloring. So I'm gonna put this on our card here. Then I need to see how this will fit. All right, so I'm cutting off, I'm cutting off, um, part of this so that it will fit where I want it to be. Okay, I was fine this time. Last time when I, um, when I did this, I wanted to still have the, the, the edge around here, but I don't mind this time it not being there. So that's why I didn't worry about I just cut it after. Oh. There's, I have, I have, um, adhesive sheet on the back of here. I, it was a scrap that I grabbed. And I didn't even know it was on there. 
Okay, you don't need the adhesive sheet. That's just, it was just because it was a scrap. Okay, so we're putting this here. I'm lining it up with the edge here. I want it across the white. There you go. Oh, I'm also gonna put, I need to put my inside in. So I don't have naked insides. Okay, that one's gone. So I don't have naked insides this time. Do you guys all know how to, that our seal cartridges are refillable? Have you seen how to, to change these out? So you can li literally pull these apart and then this comes out. Now something really important, if you don't do this every time, you should. Something really important. So it, boogers happen sometimes if you don't do this right and they cling right here. So every time you change out your cartridge or if you're having problems with your cartridge, you need to clean right above where it shows up. right here. So then you get a new one. I have a new one laying here somewhere, but I don't need to change this one out. Or is this one I need to? No, this one is not yet. Anyway, then you take out, take it out here, and you line these two back up with these. And just close it, close it again. So there you go. All right, so I got that in there. Last thing I need to do is some bling. These are amazing. This is Tinsel Gems. This is the four pack. And I need my take your pick tool. I feel like I need a little more. I always, I always tighten it to push it out, but then I loosen it so that it doesn't keep coming out. All right, so I'm going to pick up a blueberry bushel one, put it in the middle. There you go. It's all done. Isn't he adorable? I just love him. All right, and something's being weird. Okay. So I'm done stamping, so I'm going to do my thing to put you back up. So I need to un backward, no, un upside down you. Put you backwards again, and I can lift you up. Hello. Thank you for sharing. Okay, so here's my card. Isn't he awesome? I just love him. So we will be doing this card next month. So when you see Dazzling Card Club, thank you. Um... This is one that we'll be doing. I may choose different colors, but it will definitely be this design. Um, oh, somehow I got another another um, embellishment on here. Now I got to show it to you again without the embellishment. There we go. Now we just have the three that are supposed to be on there. Okay. So, <clears throat> just set. So that stamp set again, <clears throat> you know, I don't even know what page it's on. I'm going to say 49, but I don't know if that's correct. So it's bird's eye view in the, we only have the full catalog right now, but it's not an online exclusive. And then hope you know, so you can get both of those um, in our catalog. You can order online by um, going to my website or I'll have links here too. Um, go to my website and click shop um, and you can get those um, and probably I don't think it'll be next week the following week um, I will open up um, registration for my dazzling card club that will include this too so thank you so much for joining me today um, uh, make sure that you share my video and then tell me that you shared. Make sure you comment, shared, and then I'll put you in my list for next week for um, winning this card. And by the way, oh, and I do have uh, some extra swaps. 
So since I was gone two weeks and I made one card today, I'll get I'll give two of these cards away. So I'll still do two drawings next week. So thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful day. Stay cool. Stay hydrated. If you have to be outside, especially. Um, I don't know what it's like everywhere else, but we're supposed to be in the 90s this week. It's crazy. Um, it was only in the 50s or 60s when we were in Maine. So it was totally different than what we came home to came home too. Kind of crazy. Thank you, Jamie. You have a nice week also, and I will see you next Wednesday, 10.30 a.m. Thanks. Bye.